Welcome back to the gay world of narcissism. Uh, tonight is just a little tidbit, <laughs> which involves the gay online apps, such as the one the Orlando shooter used. He's not gay. Oh, but he is. But he's not. Anyway, that's a different topic altogether, but just a few observations, because I use social media for research purposes, of course. So, I've come across just two things I'd share with you, just to let you know that this cluster B mentality is everywhere, including social media. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But, just to let you know some of the ob two of the observations I've made. One of these is, okay, you're, you're on one of these applications, which has got a bunch of guys' pictures. And, of course, a lot of the pictures are, are chests or whatever they, whatever they want to show or other parts. And you're on there and all of a sudden, ding, a message comes through. And I've seen some of these where... There's this real hot picture. It doesn't even look real. It looks like they took it out of some model magazine. And the person starts to say things to you. And sometimes it'll say their location is like 600 miles away or something like that. But I decided to put my skills to work and I would respond. They'd say, hey, how's it going? And I'd say something like, oh just great and then like within like a few minutes later there'd be it looks like a form message which you'll find later but I didn't know at first so I get this form message back that would say wow that was fast so I'm going to the gym and I get really horny how about you something like that and what's disgusting is at this point, I know this is fake, but some program or some machine or some transhuman somewhere has this set up to do this, to just go after any random person, say their opening spot, have a hot picture, and then, of course, we're supposed to think, oh, a hot picture, he likes me, oh, hot. and it's just sick, but... I've seen a few of these, and it's always the exact same dialogue, the exact same words when you respond, which is, again, something like that, wow, that was quick, blah, blah, blah. And so, I've tried to counter-manipulate with these things, whatever they are, bots, or who knows what these things are, but during the research process, of course. The, they'll send one, and I'll, I'll get another one another day and think, another one of those. So uh, I will try to beat them to it. I will, like, try to say something like they're saying, wow, I've been at the gym. Oh, I feel really, really horny. How about you? I'll say also, well, I'm on my way over. Be ready. And, of course, it's a machine or some something. But... I said there are two examples. Well, this is related to another one that was very similar a few months back, which I found quite amusing. But the same type of thing would happen, where somebody would send some kind of message like those. And so I would, like, chat back and forth with them, because you know, look at what they're doing. They've got this beautiful picture. It's probably some toothless old hag in a different country, but they've got this picture that the gays will be attracted to, and then send, they send a suggestive message. Uh, well, I would notice that the responses I would get would kind of be like 
pre-programmed spam almost because they're just like generic phrases and after a few of these I would realize this is some kind of scam so what I started doing on these long ago was I type something in like I think you're fake this is fake and I would notice I'd get a response that would say quote the only thing fake here is you do not waste my time keep in mind waste was spelled w-a-i-s-t and you know I'm an English police person and so I thought that was humorous so after a few of those I decided to try my own version of counter manipulation and the next time one of those messages came through <laughs> I would actually type those words to them and say you are the only one who's fake don't wait I put the quotes on the W A I S T because it's so retarded I mean come on at least they could program this machine or this bot to have correct spelling but it just lets you know that there are more cluster B's out there than you can imagine so one other thing I've noticed too this comes from Facebook but gays evidently enjoy adult entertainment which involves various stars who are built a certain way or look a certain way and of course the gay fantasizes about them well if they're on Facebook they might search that actor's name and find like oh, there's his page Ronnie sex 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 or something and think that's the oh I fantasize well they have pages they actually do and I've learned one of their side jobs I'm, I'm guessing involves use of social media so I would see like one of my favorite stars and I'd send a friend request and BAM I would get acceptance I'm here to warn you about what might happen to you you'll be carrying your daily business out on a random day and all of a sudden that famous porn star will send you a message hi what's up and they'll just start talking to you just like a regular conversation as if you are friends and what they'll also do is ask you questions like oh are you single oh oh well, I was in a relationship and they'll just go into some kind of random detail but the punchline comes later or the sinker or whatever you want, you want to call it they'll they'll keep the dialogue going like a casual conversation for a few minutes and then it comes you get a message stating oh well check out my latest video here and you're led to believe they've got some link to some video and so you see the link and click it and guess what it does it takes you to a website and then you might respond uh, you sent me a link to a website that is asking me to uh, pay what's this about and of course he or she will respond oh I've given you a free free preview just type this in and type that however I can't help but notice from my banking experience it asks for a credit card number for age verification ha! what kind of scam is that here's my credit card number that means I'm old enough for wrong so I would like write back and say it wants a credit card number this is a scam and of course they'll be like oh no it's free just fill out that page and I think you people are just you must think people are I guess they are retarded because people will do it so I did not do it and I advise you not to do it because 
someone does not need your credit card to determine if you're old enough. Scams everywhere. Peace in the, in the, in the new world order. 